Uh, are they beside us, or... I, I don't even want to look over. Wait, that's not the end of a straight. This isn't a straight. Oh, this is the one thing. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, well, we're going to be uh, paying a lot more than $500 here. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Rivhead. First off, I want to thank you guys for all the support on this series. I'm really happy to see you guys enjoying this game. And go ahead and keep commenting below because you guys have actually taught me a lot of things that I've been missing uh, since my first couple episodes here. So, we've got our muscle car from the last episode. We are going to do a little bit of work on this. I was a dum dum and I did miss a part last episode. I was looking for, I believe it's a thermostat. Let's go ahead and put this up on the lift real quick. Uh, it was running hot. Everything else is in pretty decent shape. Apparently, another thing I need to be doing, I need to be fixing a lot more of my parts, especially uh, before we get rid of them. So, we need that thermostat. I'm going to go over to the uh, newspaper real quick and see if we can locate one this time. Alright, so we do have a new thermostat here in the newspaper, so we're going to go ahead and take that part. Is there any other beaters that we want to go ahead and buy? There's a Magura wreck over here. I've actually been wanting to uh, buy another one of these. These normally have decent parts on them. Uh, there's a Wanja too. Hmm. They're both well within my price range. This Magura definitely body-wise doesn't look like it's salvageable. Or at least it doesn't look like it would be worth it. Let's go ahead and pick that up too while we're in the newspaper. And let's go ahead and go into this motor, and we are going to replace the thermostat, so let's go ahead and remove that one. And let's throw the new one in. It is a generic thermostat. I don't know if there's like a little boost uh, when, say, you buy a thermostat that is made for something like this car, or if the generic's just fine. Uh, I'm not 100% sure there. So we've got that. I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and look at some of the parts. Uh, we need to go ahead and we need to just fix this thing completely up. Uh, another thing that I failed to look at, I didn't look at the transmission on this thing. Yeah, there's a, the clutch is worn out on it, so that's another part I want to replace. We're going to kind of skim through the rest of this. Uh, the rear hub, all oh, that's new. What about the suspension on this car? Yeah, this. Uh, I think most of this is new back here. I've gone through quite a few of these parts. So it seems like the only thing else that we need to buy for this before it's ready to go, uh, I would like to get a clutch in it. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I think we're pretty in pretty decent shape, actually. Oh, and apparently an air filter. Okay, so we are back here at the part screen. I've got two more parts to buy for the muscle car. We've got an air filter that we need, so we'll pick up that. And I look through the clutches. I don't see the clutch that's made directly for that car, uh, but they do have a generic clutch. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. And that should be about it. So let's go into the transmission. We are going to remove the clutch, and we should be able to put a new one in here. Let's go ahead and remove that, and we'll put in the new generic clutch. Why is it at 98% for a new part? It's kind of odd. Uh, let's also remove the air filter, and we'll put on the new one. Uh, supercharge. Oh, the supercharger. Can we stick that on there? That would look kind of cool, actually. Let's just install that for... Uh, uh, oh, oh. That actually looks kind of cool. Hold on. Uh, you know what, that reminds me of a uh, Dom's Charger. It's from uh, the Fast and the Furious. I had always had a big supercharger, big header out the top of it. Always looked really cool. I have to say, that actually looks pretty sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and take this one out for a quick test drive and see if we fixed its problems. Alright, we are taking this thing out for a little bit of a test drive. Uh, just check in, make sure the water's not overheating like it was last time. It actually seems to be in pretty decent shape. I am so glad I haven't seen any other traffic on the road because the driving, that's the only thing I can complain about a lot on this game. And I've watched other videos, I've seen people are having the same issues. Let's go ahead and go into third gear here. Oh, this might get a little bit of air. There we go. This is pretty sweet though, I like this. Uh, but yeah, the uh, overheating issue seems to have gone away, so we're not really worried about that. Uh, I really don't know much of this map right now. We're actually going to turn back around and start heading towards the garage. But uh, overall, I think everything's pretty much fixed, and that's a kangaroo. There's a kangaroo over there to the right. Oh, I kind of wish it would hop out in the road, and we can maybe hit it. Uh, I know that sounds kind of bad, but I'm just kind of curious if that's a thing, so... Alright, so we are heading back to the Oh, 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 that's bad. Anyways, we're heading back to the garage. Uh, everything sounds pretty good. Everything's running good on it. The only concern I have 
and I don't know if hopefully you can kind of pick it up a little bit in the video it is still squeaking like the timings off on it uh, I'm assuming that's possibly what it is it could be maybe a fan I don't know if maybe the belts are a thing I thought I've repaired pretty much everything about the car but there could be something that I missed but overall I'm happy that it runs uh, we're gonna put this car up now as far as the supercharger that I stuck on it I don't know if that should stay or not I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on that. Uh, I think it looks sweet, but I don't really know if it's useful or necessary on this car. But anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to put this one away. Let's go pick out that uh, car that we just bought. So, where is it? Oh, there it is. Alright, so this is a Magura. It's got a V8 in it. Now, you guys were also saying uh, that it's probably good to, when we remove the engine, to repair it. Because overall, it's going to be worth more. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out first. Uh, let's go ahead and check and see if there's anything in here. Uh, ooh. Yeah, when they say crashed, that is crashed. Uh, the only thing that looks like it's usable, uh, it does look like the suspension's somewhat intact. Let's see, what are the pieces like? Um, the control arms are good, it's missing. Yeah, it's missing a whole lot. The drive shaft's gone, the transmission's gone out of this thing. Uh, when they say this thing crashed, apparently it spewed out a whole bunch of parts. What's the motor look like? Uh, 471 horsepower. Hmm, everything's new in it, except for the carburetor it's missing, and it's missing the ignition. So, let's remove. Can I fix stuff when it's in the parts catalog? Or do I have to fix it? Okay, looks like I can. I'm gonna remove this motor real quick, so we'll remove it. Let's go to the parts catalog. Okay, so the motor is setting, hold on, let's go over here. I've got a lot of parts, here it is. Okay, so we've got the motor, it's the Magura. Let's go ahead, okay, it's worth 6,800 as is now. So if we fix it, yep, you guys were right. Now it's worth 10,000, so that is a jump of probably close to 1,000 to 2,000. Okay. You know, I'm almost tempted to keep something like this, but I still feel like this is something we can flip and get rid of. So we're going to get rid of that. Uh, so we've got 24,000 now. I need to go in here. Uh, let's go ahead and inspect a couple more parts. Uh, tires seem to be new, so we're definitely going to take those off. Uh, actually, I don't know what it is about these wrecked cars. It seems like, I don't know if it's a glitch in the game, but almost every time the tires are actually in good shape. Which doesn't make sense to me. It's like it's a crashed car, it was obviously used, yet it seems like most of them have new tires on them. So we're going to strip this car down completely and then we will go through our parts catalog. Okay, so that car has been completely stripped and the parts that I took off I did repair uh, what I could. So we should have a nice selection in the inventory. Let's go ahead and sell this, 360. There we go. Okay, so let's check our parts catalog real quick. Uh, there's some stuff that I'm going to clear out of here, some worn out stuff that just doesn't seem like it's worth it. Say like the clutch here, it's worn out 60%, can't fix it, might as well get rid of it. But we do have a lot of new parts, so I don't have to worry about stuff like batteries right now. Uh, we've got several different dashes, we've got a generic racing dash still. Uh, we've even got a differential for a Wanja here, we've got several things. Yeah, you kind of get behind and you don't realize how many parts you truly have. Let's get rid of some of this broken stuff. We've got a, we're hoarding right now. I don't know if this is a good thing or bad thing in the game. Uh, looks like there's a couple broken rims. Yeah, we can't do anything with those. So we're gonna get rid of those. Uh, you guys were saying you wanted to see somewhat of a uh, an off-road build. So I think that's what we're gonna look at purchasing here. Uh, other than that, looks like, you know, I'm gonna keep pretty much all these other parts. Uh, we've got 24,000 to start off with. As far as our lot right now, we have the muscle car, which I love the way that looks. That black with the skunk stripes on it drives me up a wall. I I love cars like that. Uh, we've got the, huh, this is a Wayla right here. It's got a, looks like a four banger in it. So do I want to screw with this vehicle? I could just strip it and sell it. That's going to be a vehicle that's going to set there. If we start getting kind of low on cash we can always go in there and strip it let's go ahead and check the uh the paper out real quick and see if we can find something worth getting into so we've got a wrecked looks like a these look like broncos to me there's a high mileage one down here and there's a wrecked one my thought is uh, let's buy both 
Uh, so it's a Narnu. We're gonna buy the special down here, the high mileage, and we're gonna buy the wrecked one. And if there is maybe some parts in the wrecked one that we can swap out and put in the high mileage one, uh, we're gonna try not to invest too much more besides that. So we'll take the wrecked one and we will take the high mileage one. So hopefully we can do something. I think I might wanna keep this car. So my thought is, Let's get a decent off-roader, plus maybe we'll have some parts to sell after, and we can still keep that cash flow in. So, let's go back out here. I'm going to strip the wrecked one first, and then if we need to start swapping out parts, uh, we can start working on the one here on the left. So, the one on the right is the wrecked one. It's got a NX V8 in it. Uh, looks like, yeah, this looks like it's apparently pretty rough. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, that's not, it's not terrible. But it's bad. We'll just put it that way. Let's go ahead and put this one up on the lift real quick. And what's it missing? Oh boy, look at that. It's missing a tail light. That is it. We've got parts galore here. How are the tires? Now, question is, are the tires new? The tires are new. Once again, on a wrecked vehicle, they're new. Now, question is, on the high mileage, are those tires new? Let's go ahead and remove those uh, because we can always swap over new tires on those over there. So we're gonna strip all of those. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the motor before I strip this. Uh, what's the motor look like? Broken. Okay, so the motor's done. It's got some decent parts. Actually, it's got some new parts down here. Ignition, thermostat, water pumps, all new. The spark plugs in it are new. So yeah, we're gonna strip what we can and we're just gonna toss the rest of the motor. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about being able to transfer these parts over to the high mileage one and having a pretty decent little off-roader to drive around. Alright, so the truck is completely stripped. I hope you guys don't mind if I cut a lot during that, because to me the stripping can be a little lame, not unless you find a part that's really awesome. So I'm going to pretty much keep those uh, cut out. So let's go ahead and sell off the body, 140. And let's go grab the other off-roader. Here we go, and let's inspect that. It's the same motor, so that's a good sign that we will be able to swap out some parts. Let's check the inside real quick. Okay, as far as I can tell, everything's there. Uh, what's the motor? What type of shape? Actually, tires, let's check that. They're new. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the motor. The, wow, the motor's brand new. All the parts are new in it. It just needs to be fixed. Okay. So, motor's fixed. Hmm. That is... that's odd. Okay, so that's good. What are we looking like? Air filter is new. What about the ignition? Is new. What about... what is the high mileage part of this? The fan's new. Radiator... radiator is in bad shape. Fix that, so it's new. Cooling fan's new on it. I think we just hit a gold mine here. Uh, what about the gearbox? Gearbox needs to be fixed. Let's invest the money there. Uh, what about drive shaft? New. Hmm, for a high mileage, this is really strange. Okay, here we go. Uh, the differential is bad in it. Let's go ahead and fix it. That's good, okay. Stuff like sway bar, a little bit of damage there, not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna need to really check the uh, all these little parts. Control arm, good. Other control arm is good there. Looks like the tops, those look good. Huh, this is really odd. Uh, there's not much wrong with the car. The suspension, looks like it can be fixed. Uh, this could be a project where we can possibly find some different parts to fit on here. Maybe there's a better suspension. Let's go ahead and fix that. Like, even the, it's stuff like even the air filter doesn't even need to, need to be changed. Like, almost every time you buy a vehicle from here, uh, at least something like that's broken or it, it's worn out. Uh, but no, I'm fairly, fairly impressed here. So, okay. I guess we're good. Everything looks decent there. Okay, well, I guess we can fix the, uh, fix the headlights real quick. Uh, let's drop it off the lift here. I really thought we were gonna have to start transferring some parts over. So let's wash it and see what it looks like. Body is a bit rusty. It's got a big ding in the front. So, let's see, tires are good. It's got oil, let's go ahead and, actually the oil's good in it too, so. Water's good. Body, 171. So let's go ahead and repair that real quick. 
There we go. Was the oil truly good or? No, I guess it is. So we've got that, body's repaired. Battery needs a little bit of a charge. And let's paint it. Hmm. Off-road colors. I don't know really what I picture for an off-roader. I'll paint it one color. If you guys have a better idea for a color, let me know. Uh, I think we're gonna go, maybe we will go with channel colors. Somebody said my car looked like a McDonald's car last time. <laughs> that was just my channel colors. Well, I guess I did put yellow stripes or yellow flames on it. Kinda digging this red. That doesn't look bad. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, what type of, ooh, we can do like a two-tone. That's pretty cool. What's this up here? Oh, you can actually, I did not know you could stack those. So say if you want the stripes, you can get the stripes, but say you want the side up here too. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm digging that. Let's go with the secondary color being black. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet looking little off-roader. Let's go ahead and purchase that. All right, so that's pretty cool. Rims look good. Yeah, I'm digging this. I'm thinking we might go out for a little test drive on this one too. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? There's another car across the street. Uh, can I interact with them? Can I run them over? Oh. Uh, oh, you feel like a drag? First one of the straight wins. The end of the straight, what's the end of the straight? I can hardly like move in this game without crashing or flying off the road. You know what? Let's go ahead and just try it. Uh, they look to have maybe a similar car to us. Let's uh, wager $500 here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, can we go? No, 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 reverse. Go, go. There we go. Shift. Uh, are they beside us or? I, I don't even want to look over. Wait, that's not the end of a straight. This isn't a straight. Oh, this is the one thing. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, well, we're going to be uh, paying a lot more than $500 here. Actually, you know what? Is that the finish line? Wow. Yeah, don't let the... Uh, that was a very bad demonstration of the racing in the game. Yeah, if that's one thing we can fix. You know, I'm also curious, does this work with the remote? Uh, let's go over here. Uh, where's the track at? Oh, here's the track. Here we go. <laughs> Watch out, guy. <laughs> I, I, I won? <laughs> okay, that's broken. That is broken. Oh, actually, I can hear the other car. The other car just now made it. I mean, technically, I cheated, but I didn't mean to do that. I just kind of flew off the road because of the wonky driving physics. I think we're going to go back and just worry about building cars for now. Well, I must say it was nice to win a thousand, but I have a feeling I want to check it out real quick. I think we might have done a little bit of damage to the car. We did only bounce off a tree, so uh, let's go back into here. I really need to learn this map a little bit, but it's such a struggle to drive around. I am going to do a little bit of testing. I don't want to play too much off camera because this is like one of those games I want you guys to stay up to date with. So I might try to take out a vehicle and try either a steering wheel or if it will take a remote, we'll try that. So let's go ahead, pull back into here. Now, did we damage you is the question. Let's go ahead and check body. Yep, $28 in damage. All right, other than that, uh, let's go ahead and lift that up real quick. Just check the motor. Other than that, I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's see, motor. Ah, 65 in damage. Hmm. We're gonna leave this car alone for a little bit, but I'm happy we have an off-roader now. This is gonna be another car we're gonna keep. Not unless we find something better, but uh, let's go ahead and throw this one out in the lot, and let's go check and see if we have anything else we can dive into. Okay, so in looking at this paper, we've got a couple options here. There's nothing really high end that I can afford, uh, but we've got another Rec Magura, which I'm gonna pick that up. Those always have good parts in them. And we've got another muscle car here, kind of similar to the one we have for 3,400. Needs a complete restoration. That doesn't make sense. Car is hardly used, okay? But it needs a complete restoration to make it work again. That doesn't make sense to me. You, you barely used it. Okay, so here's our lot so far. So we've got our 4x4 V8 over here. We've got our muscle car. And I feel like we need to make a bit more money. The Magura's in the uh, garage right now. Uh, I can strip that one. I'm going to probably do that one off screen because it's probably fairly similar. 
uh, to the one that we just did earlier. So we'll make some money off that. Let's go ahead and select this one over here. This is our uh, another muscle car. We might just try to flip this one. I know it's not like it. Sometimes it feels a little cheap just getting crash cars and just turning them over. So we'll do that to the Magura, but I want to actually look at this one and see what would happen if instead of parting it, if we sold it. I know that's probably not going to make us as much money. And wow, this motor's broken. Okay, well, we're going to have to part this one. Okay, they say it's hardly used, but it does need a complete restoration. So this could be another pet project. Let's, uh, yeah, there's no good parts in here. There's some used ones, but that's not worth it. So let's yank the motor. Uh, we've got the clutch is worn out, but other than that, the gearbox isn't in terrible shape. You know, we might do a conversion on this car. Maybe we can make this into a drag car. Uh, question is, and I might need your guys' opinion on this, what type of motor would we be putting in here? Uh, is there a certain one I need to be on the lookout for? So I think I'm going to fix everything around it except for the motor. Of course, the tires are new for whatever reason. Uh, it looks like the suspension, all the hub and all that looks to be fairly decent shape. Uh, maybe some of the brakes and the rims look like they need to be repaired. So we can uh, we can do that. I'm going to remove those real quick because I, we might be replacing all this with a uh, maybe more of a race setup in here. So I'm going to strip this one for now and we'll have this thing for later because I do think I want to convert it into a drag car. All right, so I believe this is going to be our next major project. I fixed everything that can be fixed. I did strip out the suspension because I do want to add something maybe a little bit more sporty in there. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye out uh, in the paper and I think we're gonna set this car to the side. So what I'm gonna need to do uh, while we're thinking about this, if you guys have any suggestions for the muscle car, let me know. I think we're gonna go and actually do strip a couple cars and make some money that way. That way we can afford the parts for something like a drag racer. Uh, for this vehicle so we can go ahead and take one last look at our parking lot I feel like we made a pretty good bit of progress here I've got a new V8 4x4 we've got our muscle car uh, we still have the Wayla on the lot and we've got a Rec Magura waiting and then plus we have our new project car which is probably gonna be a drag car now I want to thank you guys for all the support on this series we will have more episodes of this coming up soon uh, if you have any suggestions comment below if you'd like to like and subscribe Everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time on Revhead. Thank you.